hello lovely hello. viewers i welcome you to omades and please if today be the first time you are visiting the channel you kindly subscribe then you like then you share and uh, today uh, we are coming to learn how we can use lens effects at corel draw lens effect at corel draw okay so what you have to do is uh, you just type in any words of your choice or you just create any nice background of your choice okay so example let me start with words so example i will use let's say uh, corel draw let me make it capitals corel draw corel draw tutorials okay yeah then i'll i'll copy and repeat it i'll copy and i'll paste it to repeat it just like that I'll copy yeah, then I'll paste and repeat it yeah. we are creating lens effect at Corel Draw okay how we can use the lens at Corel Draw to create a very nice effect okay good yes to remain on my days yeah so when you get it like this you can change the font and it's not by force okay you can choose to leave it and you can also give it a color and that one too is not a force okay good so uh, let's do that here let's just apply any color to it okay good so when you are done like this then you can draw either uh, what do you call it any shape okay any shape but i prefer either ellipse or polygon okay good so i will take ellipse good and draw perfect circle like this okay then i'll bring it onto the waist okay like this and then it. i'll bring it here like this okay yeah Yeah. When you are done like this, you select the ellipse, okay, select this shape, okay, then you come to um, effect, when you come to effect, after look through, you find lens, okay, mine is down here and it depends on the version of Corel Draw that you are using, I'm using Corel Draw S20, okay, good, so you find lens here, then you select it this dialog box will appear yeah, but let me zoom here first for you to see the effect that it will create okay when this dialog box appear you see no lens so you have to come here then you make a choice from here but we are using fish eye okay good okay first of all let's try all these effects here okay and see the effect that it will produce so first of all you can select the brighten so if you select the brighten you see the effect it has created okay good so if you send it to anywhere to create that effect okay good then we come to color add color add you can select the color okay out one to it will create different effects okay good that one is also if the uh, effect of the lens okay then you come here come to color limit okay that one to you can select the color okay good you come here you come to custom color map okay yeah custom color map that one to you can select the color and you to produce a different effect good okay, you can select first color and the second color oh, okay that is for the custom color map okay then you come to where i'm on today where i really want to teach you okay that is face eye okay good you see I just press I and when you 
increase here it will also increase the length here okay look at it yeah when you reduce it okay listen yeah listen yeah yeah so it was 100 let me make it 100 good you see okay let's so try the rest everything yeah so you come to uh invent if you come to the event this is how it will be to reverse it then you come to magnify that one to you see yeah it will magnify where this area has captured those words there it will magnify it to make it appear big okay good then we come to tinted gray skill okay tinted gray skill like this then come to transparency okay good transparency to be the color that you choose to be transparent okay yeah good then we come to wireframe like this Okay, good. Then we come to a uh, bitmap. Okay, but what I want us to focus is the fish eye. Fish eye. Yeah, fish eye. And when you are done like this, you click on frozen. If you click on frozen, it will capture this area. Okay, where the ellipse or the circle is surrounded. Okay, it will capture that area. Okay, example, and I can take it outside and it will remain so. Yeah, so I can remove the outline. It's very nice. Okay, good. So let's put this one aside and then um, let's try and fix something nice in the shape that we can also use the lens on okay let's come here and uh, come here and come to common shapes uh, then we can take any one of these that uh, I want to take uh, what do you call it I want to take love the shape of love so I'll click on and create love shapes it and shift it like this okay and I'll press control D to duplicate it okay I'll do the same thing down here okay yeah okay right now I'm done I'll select where and group it I'll position it at the center of page and I'll do the same thing by this time I'll change the shape okay I'll choose polygon I'll choose polygon good and draw it like this yeah then I come to the same place effect when you come to lens here okay. and come to fish eye how do you see fish eye and increase it like this to capture that area okay. you can apply ellipse also on to do the same thing okay. this eye, like this. Okay. click on frozen to capture the area like this okay good so that is that that is the result of how we use the lens at Corel Draw. Yeah. Very nice. Well, let me move the outline. Good. That is how the lens effect has been created at Corel Draw. So, 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You enjoyed this tutorial. So thank you for your time and enjoy the video. Please kindly subscribe for more tutorials. Bye bye.